Families at Medical City Children's Hospital are getting a little more comfort during the most difficult of times. Abby's Book Corner opened there today. It's a labor of love and grief for the parents of Abigail Kearney, who was just 13 months old when she died after suffering a stroke. CBS 11's Beth Wagner has this inspiring update to a story we first brought you two weeks ago. Over and blew a big blast of hot air. From goosebumps to Junie B, this Richardson second grader is focusing on reading and not her breathing treatments at Medical City Children's Hospital in Dallas. It helps me learn more, even if even if I'm not in school. Hospitalized due to severe asthma and breathing difficulties, seven-year-old Deja Hurst is keeping busy. You know, she's not like mom. Let's go. I'm ready to go home. You know, it's, it's keeping her busy and making time go by faster. Deja has thousands of books to choose from, thanks to 13-month-old Abigail Carney. Today, our daughter Abigail would have turned three. Abigail died after suffering a stroke due to meningitis. Her parents filled her final hours with books. While she was hospitalized here, it was a coping mechanism for us to try to bring some normalcy to an incredibly stressful time. After Abigail died, the Carneys decided to collect books to help other families at Medical City. They surpassed their goal of 300 and opened Abby's Book Corner on the sixth floor with more than 5,000 titles. For me, it's a way to continue to be her mom. Um, even though I can't take care of her physical needs anymore, um, it's therapeutic in that I can continue to share her legacy with others and spread hope one page at a time. For them to bring those books to me, you know, it made me very happy to know that someone cares. The Carneys are already expanding Abby's Book Corner, opening libraries in Plano, San Antonio, and Austin. If you are interested in helping, buy a book drive or donating a favorite book like Abby's Good Night Moon, log on to our website at CBS11TV.com. In Dallas, Beth Wagner, CBS 11 News. It's funny, I watched that and our favorite book in our house is the Good Night Moon book too. We have so many. Yeah. We have so many books. I have a feeling I know what I'm going to be doing with them now, the there ones my kids go. don't use anymore. That's a good idea. Maybe you got some ideas out there as well. Yeah.